How to make a pillow with a pocket or a muff from a mink stole and a suede jacket. The customer wanted this stole to be used as the main part of the fur for a special project of hers and she wanted her suede jacket to be the backing. The pillow that we're talking about is a pillow with a pocket in it. She wanted to be able to put her arms inside the pillow, give it a great big hug, and this is what I came up with. It was hard to find anything on the internet that was specific to this. So here's a little mini tutorial on how I made this pocket slash muff pillow out of fur. After the fur was pieced and sewn together with the suede, I blocked it and now I'm removing all the pins and it's going to be nice and flat. This part of the fur is going to be used closest to the pillow itself. So when the hands go inside the fur, the palms will touch that part of the fur. So here I'm marking out a 16 by 16 pillow area. Once that third layer is done, we're going to add the suede and the top fur piece. We're going to cut a semicircle into the top of the fur and we're going to add some suede trim. I'm going to use a pot lid as a template. So I'm going to take a plain piece of paper. I'm going to fold it. It's going to be six, uh, 16 inches wide and then I'm going to cut it to place it on top of my pillow top. Find the center, of course. Take the lid and I'm going to draw two semicircles on the template. I'm going to measure my hand against the pot lid and I'm going to see, is that enough room? Yeah, it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rotary cutter and cut the biggest opening. The smaller one would have been too small. I'm then going to lay my suede piece down. I'm going to trace the item using a silver pen and I'm going to go all the way around. I'm going to do it to both sides. Then I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I'm going to cut out the piece. Normally I would never mark the top of a fabric or a piece of leather. I would always mark the back. But because the seams are kind of thick on the bottom, I want it to be more accurate. So I made the markings on top. I'm really not worried about the markings because we are going to take binding and we're going to be placing the binding over that so none of the silver will show. Now I'm going to transfer again those uh, markings onto the back of the fur piece using the sil silver pen. The silver pen really shows up very, very well on leather and on fur. It's perfect for this type of project. And instead of using the rotary cutter, I'm going to be using a very sharp X-Acto knife. And I'm gonna place the X-Acto knife inside the pelt and I'm going to cut outwards for the first cut and then all subsequent cuts will be towards the inside of the fur to the outside and I'm going to do this for both sides. A furrier's knife can also be used for this.
and that looks perfect. So now I'm going to layer both pieces, the top and the suede piece. In between this layer, I'm also going to be putting a layer of batting, but I'm going to be doing that a little bit later on. And here's the third piece. That's the closest piece that will be to the actual pillow. Enough room, beautiful. And now it's just a matter of clipping everything together. But here is the layer of fur with the batting on top and then the suede going over that. Clip it together. Trim the excess batting. Clip everything together. I'm going to use the front part of the jacket and I'm going to use this as my binding strips. So I'm going to need two binding strips and I'm cutting it the width of 1.5 inches and I'm going to use my rotary cutter to make those cuts. Yes, there'll be a seam inside or in the middle of the binding strip, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna take that and I'm going to clip it to the inside of that pocket. Now to bring it to the sewing machine. I use a roller foot for my electric sewing machine and my old antique singer. I'm going to use a straight stitch down the side of the binding strip and I'm making sure that I am catching all the layers of the fur as well as the binding strip. There'll be excess binding strip at the end, but that's perfectly fine. Once that's done, you're going to turn the binding strip over and you're going to clip it and then you're going to continue. You're going to be working on the same binding strip, but you are catching the bottom and I'm sewing not in the ditch, but a little on the inside of the ditch. Trim off any excess suede And now you're going to sew all the way around the edge and you are going to tack together all three layers that you have there. So it's fur, batting, and suede all the way around until it's all sewn together. Here's the binding attached to the front pocket, the completed binding on the pocket, and what the inside of the pocket looks like when it's clipped together. Now it's time to put three layers together so we have the pocket and the pillow back. So we have fur with the batting the suede and then the fur again. So you have fur and suede wrong sides together and then the fur and suede to the bottom that's going to be right sides together and you're going to clip that all the way around. 
making sure that you catch all the layers of the fur and the suede because you don't want to finish a project and find out that you have fur sticking out of the seam because you didn't catch it. Once that's all sewn together, you're going to add the backing and sew that together. I added percolene interfacing on the back of the pillow as well as the front of the pillow. It will protect the fur, the hide, and the leather. Here it's clipped all together and we're going to put it through the sewing machine making sure catching all the layers because now this is the most dense part of the pillow so you're catching the fur, the suede, the batting, another layer of fur and then the backing which is made out of suede. I forgot to film inserting a zipper into the pillow, but there are plenty of resources on the internet for that. Here is the binding on one opening of the pocket or muff and the opening on the other side. The center part of this pillow is made from a mink collar not from the stole so it is different in color it's a little bit darker and the pillow is quite big on the inside and it's nice and cozy and roomy the backing is made out of suede as stated before this was definitely a fun project to make and complete Come visit me at dinosquilts.com.